Well, we race on Sunday the 8th at Scottsville and also at Turfentine. Let's start with the Turfentine meeting where we've got in race four, Brooks Club. Now, Brooks Club is a very nice three-year-old of Mrs. Oppenheimer's by Strike Smartly out of a Fort Wood mare. And he's done pretty well. He's last run in the Grand Beck Stakes, which was a little while ago, going back to the first week in November. So he's had a two-month break. And I did that because I thought the horse is still a little immature and needed a bit of time to furnish and to become a bit of a stronger racehorse. And unfortunately, he's got a big merit rating of 97. He gets the age allowance in a field. There are some older horses in here, three and four-time winners in the race. In fact, there's even a seven-time winner. Chesney said he may need the run. So a little bit of caution exercise. We do have to respect some of these old hard knockers. And looking to stay on the better of the two and does. Astro Newsby, White Line Fever in the third. You'll find Brooks Club and then came Straw Mark. Race six, the Sea Cottage Stakes. We've got Slumdog Millionaire. Now he takes a huge jump up here from a maiden plate into a listed race. This will tell us a little bit more about him. We do believe he's a very nice horse. He has improved. Chesney says a minimum of five lengths from his maiden one. He's a different horse. He's more aggressive. He's working much better than he was before that maiden plate win. We now know that he's a racehorse. We weren't too sure before the maiden plate what to expect. We thought he was a very nice horse, but the race would tell us where we were going. The way he's come out of that race is very interesting. He's got a different attitude in his box. He's got a different attitude when he walks around. And he's also beating the horses that were beating him before he won his maiden plate. He's now turned it around. So he's a horse that is on the up. And this 1,800-meter distance will be right down his alley. He's bred to go 1,800 and even maybe a little bit further. Bear in mind, it's only his second run in his life. So Slumdog Millionaire, I'm quite confident, could win the race, but certainly we think that he will be in the first three. It's Slumdog Millionaire with the lead inside the final 50, and Slumdog Millionaire wins it by over a length. The Duke second, then came Disco Boy. The London News stakes at Group 3, the seventh race, we've got the Apache and Seal. Now, this is probably the race of the weekend. Unfortunately, we're not racing in the Queen's Plate, but these horses represented in this race might as well be. I think it could be a better race than the Queen's Plate in terms of quality. We've got the Apache. We've got Dance with the Devil. We've got Piers of Dawn. Nothing wrong with Il Petro, Seal, Smanji Manji. What a field. Golden Sword, this imported horse with the merit rating of 117. This is a seriously, seriously competitive race. The Apache comes into the race quite badly handicapped carrying two kilos more than Dance with the Devil. So we're a kilo and a half worse off for a two and a half length beating. Purely on handicapping terms, we shouldn't really beat Dance with the Devil. Pierre Jordan's also pretty well weighted. If you look at the source of Mark the Cox Golden Sword, 60 in his last start, finishing five lengths behind the Apache, he now drops down to 55 and a half. So for a five length beating, he's down four and a half kilos. We also have to respect our other horse, Seal. He now gets two and a half kilos from the Apache, and drawn well. Let me tell you that our horses are well. That's what you want to know from our podcast. You want to know if they're training well. I can tell you that. You can study these type of things in terms of handicapping as well yourself. I suppose it's nice for me to point it out to the layman and to have a look at the way that horses are weighted here. The Apache is not a great track horse. I've said this before. And Seal did gallop with the Apache and beat him quite comfortably on the grass in their last gallop. But having said that, the Apache saves his best for race day. So we can expect a good run from both of our horses. They're both very well and will be competitive. So to sum up our day at Turfentine, we've got Brooks Club coming back from a rest in a toughish race, but will run well and could run into the money. Slumdog Millionaire, I think, could easily run into the first three. It is a tough race. Difficult to ask a young horse on his second run to win a future race, but he has got a touch of class about in this horse and could do it. And then we move on to the London News where the Apache and Seal will be competitive and I'm hoping that the two of them finish in the money and I do believe that they could easily do that. Let's hope we have a nice day and it will give us some indication of what we can look forward to in the future with our horses. Gavin Fonzell signing off for Team G Racing.